How will tickets work at the 2018 World Cup? Fans attending the 2018 World Cup in Russia will need something else in addition to standard match tickets. To enter stadiums during the 2018 World Cup in Russia, fans will need to present a fan ID in addition to their normal ticket. Reportedly, these are designed to nullify touting and for security purposes. Fan IDs can only be acquired after buying official tickets from FIFA, then by applying for the document at a separate website or at a distribution center in Russia. Successful applicants are notified by email or text, and the ID is sent by mail or collected from a center. The document allows visa-free entry to Russia for 10 days prior to the document holder's first match and 10 days after their last match. Fan ID and ticket holders will also be able to travel between cities for free using trains and other public transport. And reportedly, hundreds of thousands of tickets have already been sold. Stick around for everything we've got on the 2018 World Cup. Goal Goal Line technology could be back for the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia. Here's a guide of two systems that will help referees decide whether a goal has been scored. One system uses several cameras that have been installed high up within the stadium to determine whether the entire ball has crossed the goal line. Another system tracks the receptors in the ball, and magnetic fields created through underground cables calculate and determine whether a goal has been scored. Goal line technology automatically registers the goal and instantly alerts the referee to the fact that the ball has crossed the goal line. The technology will be able to prevent controversial decisions being made, like the disallowed goal during a match between England and Germany in the 2010 World Cup in Germany. The goal line tech systems that have been approved by FIFA and the International Football Association Board for use include Goal Ref, Hawkeye, and Goal Control. The technology passed its inaugural trial during the 2012 FIFA Club World Cup Japan. It has since been used at several major tournaments, most recently at the English Premier League and the German Bundesliga. Not so smart after all. FIFA unveiled their new 2018 World Cup match ball late last year to much fanfare, with much press heralding it as a smart ball. But just how intelligent is it really? The Adidas Telstar 18 features a near-field communication chip. When the ball is tapped by a smartphone, it'll show users personalized content. This feature is designed for consumer use and not World Cup matches. This gimmick is not going to give you a forensic breakdown of how to improve your shooting, but it'll let you access tailored smartphone content, all for 165 bucks. Cha-ching! The Telstar 18 is also made up of six thermally bonded panels, each layered with a 3D textured surface. This is said to provide players with greater control in different weather conditions. The ball's design is based on the iconic black-and-white Telstar ball from the 1970 World Cup ball. In other words, it's an upgraded modern take on a 70s classic. Video refs are coming. The 2018 World Cup is probably going to be chock full of VARs. If a game is to be delayed, the referee must perform the TV box signal to make it clear the video assistant referee is watching. VARs will look into four areas of calls made by the referees. These are direct red card offenses, penalties, goals, and cases of mistaken identity. The referee communicates with the VARs via headset and can directly act based on their advice. They can also pause the game and review the incident on a screen beside the pitch. The referees can then make a decision based on the new information, such as red carding a player, awarding a penalty, or disallowing a goal. Whether or not the information from the video review is used remains at the match referee's discretion. The tech has been shown to be accurate, but it can delay a game by several minutes, which fans and players love. Meaning, even with better science, refs still can't catch a break. All eyes on Moscow. The world will be watching Russia this summer when the country hosts the 2018 World Cup. The tournament will be played between June 14th and July 15th at 12 venues in 11 cities in Western Russia. Two of the venues are in Moscow. To attend matches, fans will need a FIFA Fan ID badge along with a ticket. According to FIFA, over 4.9 million tickets were requested for the tournament so far. The month-long tournament will see 32 countries from around the world play a total of 64 matches, with the winning nation being awarded 38 million US dollars and the iconic World Cup trophy. Who do you think will win?